Good morning, Tom and Susan. Jarl Kubot here with West USA Realty and Arizona 55 plus communities. I'm in the 45 plus retirement community of Sun City Grand in Surprise, Arizona, looking at these two homes here for you. We just did a FaceTime video call of this home inside and out, but I, I thought I'd do this video here for you so you could watch it over and over again to make sure that we didn't miss anything here. I know we're trying to do this as a distance, so I'm gonna be your ears and eyes here for you. So hang on, we'll give you some live, raw, unedited, Lots of blooper video. So I'm standing in front of this home here. Like I said, it's on a cul-de-sac street. It sits mostly north south on the lot here. Uh, house was built in 2000. Uh, two bedrooms, two bath. Uh, lots of nice landscaping. I know we talked a little bit about that. Trimming the, the trees and the bushes. I think there's several bushes you could take out so you have less maintenance in the yard and still maintain that attractive appearance uh, front and back. Epoxy driveways, garage floor, front and back patios, everything appears to be good shape. They, they did some painting, not all of it in the interior. Uh, exterior paint is great shape all the way around. Very, for the age of the home, very minor uh, cracks and stuff to the stucco. Uh, I think we showed all that to you. I'll, I'll touch base with it again a little bit as we walk through the house. But uh, a very nice curb appeal. And again, uh, I think you'd spend about $1,000 a year to maintain uh, this yard while you're gone, okay? Um, they'd come by, trim it up, shape it up a little bit a couple times a year. So this is looking to the east of you. This house here uh, sits on the, uh, on the corner on the street side here. But you know, I've been here now for about 45 minutes and there's not much traffic. Again, it's early in the season here yet, but that's not 50 mile an hour traffic. That's a 35 mile an hour speed limit with golf, court, golf carts on there. There's a walking path here. Uh, the, there's a sidewalk all along this side up and down the street. Nothing on the far side uh, to the east there. And now I'm looking uh, almost straight south there. Really uh, nice being tucked back on this uh, cul-de-sac street. And then this is looking uh, to the west up the street here. West or east, up or down, not sure which here, but uh, not to be too technical here. Sun City Grand is a beautiful community. Nice facilities, uh, very active, about 9,000 homes in this community. Built early 90s to, uh, to early, uh, early to mid 90s to uh, early 2000s. And that's the house directly to the west of you. Again, all uh, coated, epoxied, uh, almost like stamped concrete uh, on the edges here. The, all the driveway, the garage floor, it's all great shape. I don't see any bubbling or peeling. They did some patching, it looks like, but they did a nice job of it. You'll see that sunscreen to the right to the front door where that table is. Uh, you know, that window is south, and so that screen is a little bleached out, but you have the framework. It wouldn't cost much over $100 to have that screen replaced. This is getting some nice south sun. The garage sticks out to the west side of the house, so in the afternoon you'd get a little shade on this patio here. Back in here, just beyond that oleander bush, that's where our, our shutoff is for the water. It's uh, plumbed right so you can leave the water on for the, ins uh, for the landscaping, but shut it off so when you're gone in the summertime, there's no uh, water on inside the house. Standing with my back to the front door, looking out across your front yard into the cul-de-sac where my car is parked. This is one of those pygmy palms. I've got one in my front yard. They grew about a foot and a half in the six years I was in the house. Uh, but beautiful landscaping. A lot of these smaller bushes, it wouldn't take much to have those taken out and you wouldn't lose much aesthetics to the yard. Stepping just inside the front door, this is your formal living room. And uh, so if I come in the front door and I go left, I go to the dining area, into the kitchen family room area. We'll take you that way shortly. If I come in the front door and I go immediately to the right, I go to the guest bathroom and the two bedrooms. Standing at the front door, looking towards the straight in to the uh, guest bedroom. Nice nine foot ceilings throughout the house here. If I go immediately to the right, there's my guest bath. I've got a linen closet in that hallway and then this wall that backs up to the formal living room, there's another double closet there. A double closet in the guest bedroom as well. 
Here's your guest bathroom, full tub and shower. Uh, nice and clean, not stained. This is kind of a bluish gray on the walls. Looks a little more blue, I think, in the video. Um, the, the, uh, the tile looks good. The grout looks clean. There's some water stains underneath the sink there in that cabinet. They all have a little bit. This one was a little worse, but the floor's not sagged. You know, it could be painted, put a new board in, but it, other than that, it was very superficial. Um, we talked a little bit about these corners and the, all the miter cuts in the corners throughout the house. It's like the guy doing it just cut them all just a little bit short and they need to be caulked. But it doesn't seem to be anything structural with the house. New carpet again throughout the house. New padding it looks like. Light fixtures are a little dated in the house. Um, but again it wouldn't take much to update those. You got six panel doors on all the house. Uh, gold, gold trim and knobs. Um, you've got uh, over there in the corner just to the left of that door going out of the bedroom there. There's uh, outlets for TV. Standing in the guest uh, bathroom looking at the hallway. Uh, again, right as I come out of this bathroom, I go into the guest bedroom. There's a linen closet right there. And then there's a large double closet to the left and then we enter the master bedroom and then there's another closet the master bedroom has two closets uh, hers and hers yours is in the hallway here tom <laughs> and then uh people are probably getting old of that get getting tired of that old comment that i make in every video but i'm gonna keep making it <laughs> anyways nice nice size uh, master bedroom bay window over there new carpet and the paint looks good. I don't think they painted the whole house. I think they painted a couple of walls in here. They have extra paint colors. They have extra floor tile in the garage. Uh, but it doesn't look like there'd be enough, you know, if you wanted to tile a whole other area. Standing in that bay window area, looking back towards that closet by the exit door, exiting the master bedroom. This is uh, looking straight into your master bath. There's no doorway on there. You could do a doorway. Uh, you could, with a little bit of work, probably do a pocket door. It'd be easier to do a, a casement door. Um, you got double sinks. Cabinets, you know, for original cabinets, they're good shape. They, they're not all water stained or, or warped underneath the sinks. You've got a, li a linen closet just to the left of that vanity. And then... Um, a large shower. Needs a little caulking in the shower. The floor is not stained. You can redo these showers, take out the pans, tile them all the way to the ceiling. You can do that in that uh, four to $5,000 range since the opening is already there. Um, but uh, very little staining underneath these sinks, just a few little droplets. You got a private toilet room there over to the right. There's that window I was telling you about up above the private toilet room, lets a little light in. And then right above the vanity here, that's the window. That was the only window where the seal has dropped down in between the window. It doesn't look like it opened up and it fogged the inside of the window, but that's an easy, uh, easy window to replace. That pops right out. They can just replace that window or you can put a whole new window in there for probably less than $300. The, the integrity of the window, I don't believe, uh, was compromised. I think it's just the sight of it is all. And then to the right here, entering this master bedroom, or master uh, bathroom, you've got another walk-in closet here. Again, all the carpet's been replaced. Grout's nice and clean, tile's nice. I don't know, you know, this might be new tile. Um, we do have some pieces and grout in the driveway, in the in the garage so we might still be able to get this tile if you wanted to you know tile uh, the master bedroom and not have any carpet at all standing in the master bedroom looking out of the hallway there again there's that double closet looking straight into the guest bath I walk out of here there's a linen closet and then just to the left there is the guest bedroom I come here I turn the corner and I'm back into the main part of the house by the front door. That's your dining area. This is what you asked about making maybe an enclosed den or, or uh, you know, an office area, what have you. Really hard to enclose that the way this is. Um, you probably have to change this carpeting flooring. Take that wall out ahead, move the path a little bit. Then you could do it, but it, it would still make the house a little boxy. I mean, I've seen it done. I just, 
you know, styles, I'm not sure, you know, what your tastes are, but, but it could be done, you know, in hindsight. I told you definitely not the first time, but I wasn't standing from this angle looking to where we could actually open that up going into that family room where the kitchen is and then move this path over but we'd have to change this flooring or have more tile to match this and it does look like with this grout being so nice and clean it looks like this was recently tiled that big window looks out to where the jacuzzi is so then uh, we'll stop it here Standing in the family room area looking back towards the kitchen. Laminate countertops, but good shape. Newer Frigidaire appliances throughout the kitchen. Uh, they uh, nice and open. There's a food pantry there in the kitchen as well. Uh, across, uh, just behind where the uh, that bank of light switches are. Laminate counter countertops, but good shape. But you could, you know, put granite countertops or, or even another laminate in, overhang it so you could have some stools. You got reverse osmosis drinking water under the sink. Uh, but these cabinets are, are good shape. You could stain them darker, you could paint them. Wouldn't take much if you ever wanted to replace them, especially if you were doing the countertops. But um, they're, they're great shape for the age of the home. Just looking into the kitchen from another angle. Again, you'll see that food pantry and another little, uh, another little pantry there, uh, extra cupboard and uh, upper and lower cabinet there. Sorry for the misspeaking, a little slow here this morning. I haven't had a second cup of coffee yet. That's a big cabinet in this family room area. See, if you took that wall out where that opening is, then you know we've got to patch all of this flooring. Uh, with tile so unless we can find this tile and match it perfectly it would be it it it'd be a, an expensive job because you'd have to replace all the flooring or uh, do something different and you'd have uh, two different styles of flooring so through that opening to the left of the refrigerator that's the original laundry room now I don't know if they ever had it as a laundry room I couldn't find any water hookups underneath the cabinets um, there there was there was some outlets, so I think when they originally built this house, I think the people requested that the laundry be put in the garage. So looking into the garage, so this door faces south. It is insulated. That helps keep the garage about 20 degrees cooler. Your laundry is out here. You have this whole extended area. You could wall that in and make that uh, more of a, a closet type thing if you wanted to. Um, but uh, you got a water softener right there. I think it's probably original. They last quite a while. Uh, the heating and cooling system was a 2013 heat pump. It's a York system. My opinion, you have at least uh, an, another seven, eight years. Those York systems last 12 to about 16 years or so. Um, if you do the proper maintenance, they can go on quite a while. But that's a nice system. It, it looks newer than what it is. Again, this floor, uh, all epoxy coated in this whole garage, front and back patio is great shape. Hot water heater is older. They're probably about $1,200 to replace. Uh, I would guess it's pretty close to original. Um, you can get a home warranty to cover you for the first 12 months on the heating and cooling system, the oven, the microwave, the dishwasher, garbage disposal, some electrical and plumbing stoppages. Uh, but uh, here's some of that extra tile and that's why I say I think this tile is almost brand new I think we might be able to find it um, still find it but I'd have to call and ask if if that was something that you were considering uh, changing anything or or opening up that that wall opening inside standing uh, looking out from the eat-in area in the kitchen there's that jacuzzi this is an aluminum uh, patio cover, so no maintenance on this patio cover. All the bushes on, uh, on uh, timers and automatic watering systems, they only lost one uh, fruit tree. Uh, Tom, you know, we talked extensively about maintaining the landscape, and, and you know, th there is a lot of bushes here. There's a lot of bushes that you can take out. Some of them are providing you privacy from the neighbors, some are not. Uh, it is very pretty, though, back here. and. Uh, it, it uh, really uh, gives you the Arizona effect. You're pretty private on this patio. You've got the neighbors over here. You could add another bush here or let, let a couple of these grow up a little taller. This tree is on your property line. This is a really wide area in between the two houses and most of it's yours. 
Here's your irrigation system, your heat pump there on the side of the house. Really a nice outdoor patio. Now this faces north and you know our sun drops to the south in the winter time here and then uh, after you reach the solstice it starts coming back up in the sky but you're never going to have much for sunlight so if you're here for some real warm sun you know you you have a deep enough yard to get out and get some of it but you're going to want to sit on your front patio to get some sun but but this is a really nice patio it's it's protected in here for a little warmth in the evening if you wanted to sit out here you could easily add a patio heater out here outdoor one of those outdoor patio heaters I'm in the uh, northeast corner looking back towards the house. That's your bedroom there that sticks out, master bedroom. And this is the east side of the home. Tom and Susan, Jarl Kubat here again. Hey, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope this uh, clarified a few things after our uh, phone conversation here. Uh, nice home all in all. I mean, price seems to be uh, right. I'll go home, run the comps for you, give you a list of everything that's uh, been bought and sold similar to this in the last six months, show you what they were listed for and what they sold for when they got an offer, and that, that should clarify a lot of things for you here. Um, getting close to Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I'm sure we'll be talking uh, before before then, but uh, any other questions, uh, please do not hesitate to call. I'm your ears and eyes here on the ground, and we'll keep you from writing on something that, that uh, for something we should have noticed long before we wrote the offer. Wrote the offer. Uh, again, please forgive me for the misspeaking. This is live and raw video. If uh, you've stumbled into this video looking for a home for yourself in an Arizona 55 plus community or resort style community, my name is Jarl Kubat with West USA Realty and Arizona 55 plus communities. Please visit my website at www.justjarl.com, that's J-U-S-T-J-A-R-L.com, or give me a call at 480-710-6326. I look forward to meeting you in person, and I truly appreciate your business. Thank you. Take care.